Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Emma Chamberlain's new Hollywood Hills rental. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the entry courtyard. This is the closest I'll ever be to going to Mykonos. Courtyards are inherently maximum chill. That's what they were born to be. We love that each of the pots have a matching friend, like these two, and these two, and these two. We love that this home clearly passes the zombie test. The zombie test is how easy would it be for zombies to break into your home. The easier, the better. Because honestly, surviving a zombie apocalypse seems like too much work. We love that it's a single story. Who wants to have to walk up steps? Not me. Inside, we love that there's a bench in the entry. We love the wood floors. We love the view. We love these wishbone chairs. The wishbone design is up there in the Furniture Hall of Fame. These should be next on your list after you get yourself the Herman Miller Eames chair. We love that the fridge and freezer match the cabinets. Emma has said in the past that she doesn't shower very much, so we'll just skip the main bathroom. In the backyard, we love the pool. We love this wire railing. This allows for maximum views. And we love this maximum chill zone. I could lump on this spot all day. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate this fire pit in the courtyard. Even though entry courtyards are awesome, they can't be too awesome or else you'll never go inside. We hate that the house has bangs. Inside, we hate this chandelier. Did a porcupine design this? We love mid-century modern, but we hate that they made the inside of this place too 21st century Encino modern. Could we get some dark wood walls in here? We're also a little bit too tired of seeing this stone in every home. We hate this single cushion couch. Single cushion couches don't look right to me. It's like a person having only one butt cheek. We love the wishbone chairs, but hate these fluffy cushions they put on them. Picture this. You're biting into a yummy falafel when a little bit of tahina spills out of your mouth onto this cushion. You dab it with a napkin, but that just pushes it deeper into the fibers. The next time you're sitting here and eating a falafel, that happens again. And again and again and again over the years. After 10 years, you can't even recognize the chair anymore because it's turned into a giant block of tahina. No thanks. Let's proceed. Outside, we hate that the pool is a side pool and not in the back. We hate how close these bushes are to the water. It's okay for a bush to get wet, but you're going to get leaves in the pool every time you trim these. We hate that there are no windows and everything are doors. It's going to take you an hour to open and an hour to close each one of these. We hate when a house is on stilts like this. A home on the hill like this is not the kind of chaotic energy I'm okay with. Finally, we hate that they left a vacuum in the pool for this photo. When I'm president, leaving the vacuum in the listing pool photo will be illegal. This home ranked 3 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show, where we take a deeper dive into the stats. Gave this a 3 ranking because the home was okay. Crazy small lot. Love mid-century modern ranch style homes, but this wasn't crazy good. It also probably lost some of the character that it had in its 1961 heyday, which I wish it would have kept. If you don't know Emma Chamberlain, she's a pretty popular YouTuber. She's done ads for Levi's and Louis Vuitton. And I'm a little bit jealous because she has her own coffee line, which hopefully I'll have one myself someday. We've covered her on the show a few times. First, her West Hollywood home, which she just sold, as well as the Beverly Hills home she bought a month ago. She's renting this place while she does major renovations to that place. This show has broken my brain because when I saw 35 k a month for this, I immediately thought about Frederick Eklund's house that we did last week. And that 65 k a month didn't seem that bad for that place compared to the 35 k for her home. My brain is also broken because this home is in the Bird Streets neighborhood and I can't stop thinking about the Bird Streets. Every other thought in my head is Bird Streets, Bird Streets, Bird Streets. And if you don't know what the Bird Streets are, this is the Bird Streets. If you zoom in, you'll see that all of the streets are named after birds like Oriole, Thrasher, Skylark, and Warbler. See you all next episode. A special thank you to our Patreon supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir as well as a super extra special thank you to our Patreon Plus supporters. That's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, CJ, Dan, and Emmy. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, you're still here? Bird Streets.
Bird streets, 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 bird streets. Bird streets, bird streets, bird streets, bird streets, bird streets, bird streets, bird streets.